Welcome to episode 69 of Hypno SOS. My name is Ursula James. In these short hypnosis podcasts, I'm going to help you get through the day. This one is about motivation, helping you to feel refreshed in the morning, reduce procrastination, and actually feel a sense of achievement when you go to bed at night. If you have listened to these podcasts before, you can skip forward the following instructions to the chimes where the audio hypnosis will start. If not, please listen to the following instructions. You can sit down or lie down, it doesn't matter which, as long as you can make yourself comfortable. If you are disturbed, you will deal with whatever is going on around you. Close your eyes again, take three deep breaths and continue where you left off. Always remember you're completely in control during this process. Please do not do anything else while listening to the audio, especially not driving. I hope you enjoy the following hypnosis. And if you are interested in learning more about me, about what I do, or other audios, you can go to my website, ursulajames.com. Sit down or lie down. It really doesn't matter which you do. As long as you make yourself as comfortable as possible. So you can listen easily. Ensure you won't be disturbed. So you can really get benefit from this process. So... Take three deep breaths. And as you do, allow the shoulder muscles to relax. Let them warm. Allow your shoulders to drop. Let your mouth part a little, allowing the muscles of your jaw to ease. So many of the tensions from our day we hold in our jaw. So you can just let those muscles relax now. And if at any part during this process you find yourself yawning, that will be fine. Just fine. As your body allows those muscles the muscles of your jaw to stretch and relax, releasing tension as it does so. Focusing in on your breath, taking three deep breaths. Once more, deep breath. Letting your muscles relax. Allow them to relax. And your muscles can start to warm and loosen. You may at this point find yourself moving around a little to make yourself even more comfortable as the tension leaves your muscles. Relax. Allow yourself to relax all the way through. And it may seem counterintuitive, but the more relaxed you are, the more able you will be to connect with the part of you that motivates you best. This part of you is a part of your mind that is awake even when you are asleep, that keeps you safe, keeps you breathing, deals with your digestion, regulates your body temperature, your reflexes, so many, many things. 
are completely under the control of your unconscious mind and they just work without you thinking about them. And I want you to know that it is also in this part of your mind that you can find what it is that motivates you best, helps you to get up and go, to do the things you know you ought to do and always feel better when you've done them, whether that is to exercise or to study or simply to do the day-to-day. Because it is not unusual in these times that it can sometimes seem hard to motivate oneself to do what you need to do. Sometimes even to do what you want to do. But in this state of connection, where your body is relaxed and your mind pays attention as it wishes, and by that I mean there may be moments when your conscious awareness drifts and wanders, it too relaxes, and you feel you are drifting off into a sort of sleep. And that will be fine. Even when and if you are not fully aware of what is being said, consciously aware, that is, your unconscious mind, the part of you that already does so much, can and will pay attention. It's the part of your mind that holds your memories the part of your mind that processes information even when you sleep so that when you wake after a good night's sleep, you can sometimes have ideas, think differently, feel better. As the things which in the past would have bothered or disturbed you are put away into the back of your mind, so to speak, where your unconscious mind can process them can compartmentalize them, can prioritize them, or even discard them. Just let those thoughts go. In a few moments in time. In a few moments in time. You will hear me say the word. Now, and whenever you hear me say the word, now, a slightly warm, although really pleasant, physical sensation of warm, Relaxed muscles can and will begin to spread from your chest, from your shoulders, and all the way out, out through your body. Out through your fingertips, out through the tips of your toes. Not only carrying away any residual unnecessary nervous tension, but on the in-breath bringing to you feelings of motivation. Not just feelings, but thoughts too. And in these moments you may not be consciously aware of what they involve. But I will tell you that at night when you sleep, when you dream, tonight, 
as a starter. In the morning you will wake with a different thought. And that thought might be, I'm going to get up now and I'm going to do X, whatever that might be. Something small, something you may have avoided, something that by doing it, you start the ball rolling. And it could be absolutely anything. It doesn't matter how minor it might be. Brushing your teeth, standing on one leg. I don't know. It could be anything. Doing something which you know will start you getting into the habit of doing things. And leaving the question why in the past and just get on with it, whatever it is, no matter how small. And perhaps after this process you might make a note for yourself of one or two things you want to get done. You may even find you just do one of them and the satisfaction of first of all putting it onto the list and secondly, either scheduling it or doing it, really helps. These are small steps, very small steps, but the small steps are to build a habit of doing the things that motivate you. And yes, it's important to have a goal. But it's even more important to just get started and know that the act of getting started builds a habit. And building a habit helps you formulate your goal, your reason why. And sometimes there isn't one. It may be to draw a sketch every day. It may be to organise your sock drawer. It may be to... Start walking for 10 minutes every day. It doesn't matter what it is. But what matters is that you do it. It takes more time and energy to find excuses for not doing it than doing it. And the way that you feel afterwards, that will motivate you in every way. Helping you to feel better about yourself, about your body, about your thoughts, your decisions, the world around you. Small things, but just get on with it. And that night, the feeling of satisfaction when you look back and you go, yeah, I got that done. It feels good. It feels better. And that feeling becomes a drug. Something you want something you crave, and you build a habit of change. Just rest for a moment now and know that it takes more energy to make excuses than it does to do something. And I'm just going to give you a moment in silence for you to think about something small that you can just get on with after this to kickstart your motivation. And it really doesn't matter if nothing came to mind, because it will. And you can either make the choice to argue with that and spend more time and energy avoiding it, or just do it. Always something small. For the small acts and thoughts build to become one bigger process of motivation and change. And in a few moments in time, in a few moments in time, you will hear me count from one to ten and at the count of eight, your eyes will open. And at the count of ten, You'll be fully wide awake.
all normal, healthy and appropriate sensations and responses will be back with you. And you will feel better, more motivated, more confident too. And yes, more optimistic because you are taking control. So ready, one, two, three, more aware, four, five, six, more alert, seven, eight, eyes open now, nine, and ten. Big stretch. I hope you've enjoyed this week's audio. Please be kind enough to like, share and subscribe. It really does make a difference. And if you have any suggestions on a subject you'd like to hear, get in touch with me. Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products.